From Los Angeles to a worldwide audience, this is Boaz Power TV, where we take your life to the next level. Now, internationally known speaker and author, here's Boaz. Hi, welcome to the Power Show. You are part of the Power Nation. I'm so glad you're here. Because here we help you improve your attitude, your relationships, your finances, and your career as we take your life to the next level. This is episode number 184 on Boaz Power TV. And I call this one, Is It Time for You to Jump In? I uh, read a fascinating book some time ago that contained some valuable lessons in life. It's called Jump In written by Mark Burnett, you've heard of him, the creator of the very popular television program Survivor and The Apprentice. This is an amazing rags to riches story of perseverance, determination, and a great dream. He looks pretty successful now, doesn't he? Well, you may want to learn more of the story. The book is also a story of an immigrant from England who came to America with very little money and no connections, who went on to create a huge entertainment company. He is now an Emmy award-winning television producer who was featured in Time Magazine's Time 100 list of the most influential people in the world. Phrases such as, the tribe has spoken and you're fired have become part of our language due to his programs. The title of the book comes from his personal philosophy of jumping into life even if you don't know how to swim. In other words, being willing to take some chances because in the long run, the rewards are so much greater for the risk. At the age of 22 and having just completed a stint in the British military where he was a commando, Mark bid his parents goodbye and took off for America. In England, he had been in the Parachute Regiment and served in dangerous tours of duty in Northern Ireland and combat in a Falkland Islands war. He landed in Los Angeles on October 18, 1982 with all of $600. He was not able to find a job and had no place to live. Finally, he landed a position as a nanny to the children of a wealthy Beverly Hills family. That's right. The man who created the Survivor television series jumped in and did what he had to do to survive in his new country. He talks in the book about uh, how hard his parents worked in England and how, how, as an only child, he was showered with unconditional love. He states, My mother had always encouraged me, telling me that although we were poor and she couldn't afford to give me an expensive education, I could achieve anything I wanted. How much greater would other people's lives be if we just believed more strongly in them? During his first two years in America, Mark worked as a nanny for three different families in Los Angeles. His duties included babysitting, helping with homework, running errands, coaching basketball, and driving kids to school. He states an important lesson, quote, consider no task beneath you. Do whatever it takes. How much more would all of us accomplish if we kept that in mind more of the time? Another of Mark's concepts in the book is start small and build. That's exactly what he did on his way to fame and fortune. Encouraged by one of his nanny employers to work for himself, Mark rented a fence in Venice Beach and started selling t-shirts. He bought t-shirts with some imperfections from a factory for $2 each and then attempted to sell them to beachgoers for $18 each. Since he was scared of rejection and didn't see himself as a salesman, Mark wasn't very aggressive in selling his t-shirts. A young girl skated up to him the first morning and bought one. Then someone else bought another. By the end of his first day, Mark took home almost a thousand dollars and a lot of confidence. The selling techniques that he learned over the next two years would serve him well when he eventually started selling television show ideas to the networks. After leveraging his t-shirt money into a real estate deal that did well, Mark started a marketing business. It was a Los Angeles Times article in February, February 21, 1991, in fact, that gave Mark his inspiration that would eventually lead to the Survivor television show. Ever since his days as a paratrooper, Mark had been attracted to adventure. The article was about a French adventure competition known as the 
Raid Galoises. Perhaps I'm pronouncing it wrong, but anyway. Five member teams raced nonstop over mountains, down rivers, and through jungles that were full of snakes. These races lasted almost two weeks and covered several hundred miles. He decided at that moment to launch such an expedition-length race of his own. It would be called the Echo Challenge. In order to prepare for his project, he became a participant in that French race. This was one of many instances in the book when Mark simply jumped in and took a chance. In order to find out how he took his in this initial experience in the French race and parlayed it into Survivor and The Apprentice and an eventual entertainment empire employing hundreds, well, you'll simply have to read his book. It is a fascinating story of creating a dream, focusing on small steps at first, and being willing to take some chances. I suggest for you and I, we should both jump in and experience these kinds of ideas. Get the book. I have focused on the beginning of Mark's success story so that we can all realize that we can begin small and with the courage to jump in, we can accomplish greatness. So here is a daily jump in affirmation. You may want to write this down. I am willing to jump in and take a bold step toward my exciting future. Once again, I am willing to jump in and take a bold step toward my exciting future. If you like these messages and many people around the world do, please do me a favor. Jump in, forward this to five people you know. Suggest to go to my website, boazpower.com, and they can also sign up for the free weekly broadcast of Boaz Power TV. You are special. You are unique. I see you now with the courage to just jump in because you are destined for greatness. And, and I do see it. I see it in you. You are a champion. Have a powerful day. This has been Boaz Power TV. To comment, see other episodes, or to subscribe to this free broadcast, go to our blog at boazpower.com. That's boazpower.com. We're here to take your life to the next level.